quick revision video on the bonding and shape in alkenes. So we'll start with some essentials. Alkenes are classed as unsaturated hydrocarbons. They're unsaturated because they contain a carbon-carbon double bond. Hydrocarbons because they're made of hydrogen and carbon only. The carbon-carbon double bond consists of a sigma bond and a pi bond. So the sigma bond is formed by the direct or end-to-end -end overlap of orbitals between the bonding atoms. Pi bond, sideways overlap of adjacent p orbitals above and below the carbon atoms. So if we look more closely at the bonding now, so we've got this diagram here. So these two carbons are going to become the carbon-carbon double bond. So each carbon atom of the carbon-carbon double bond makes three sigma bonds. Remember that's end-to-end -end overlap or direct overlap of orbitals. And in the case of the carbon-carbon double bond, these orbitals are called sp2 hybrid orbitals. Now, hybridization isn't on the OCR specification, but I have made a separate video that explains what's going on there. But for the purpose of this video, each carbon atom makes three sigma bonds. So remember there's four electrons in the outer shell of carbon. So where is that fourth electron? It's in a p orbital. So these two p orbitals, remember there's an electron in each one, they overlap sideways above and below the plane of the carbon atoms and they create a new region of space that the pair of electrons can live in and that's what we call the pi bond. So the pair of electrons that's uh, able to pair up from the overlap of the two p orbitals is the pi bond. And the electron density of these pi electrons is concentrated above or below the plane of the carbon atoms because the original p orbitals had an upper lobe and a lower lobe. But the thing to remember is this diagram could potentially misleading because it looks like there's two pi bonds. There's actually only one because there's only one pair of electrons involved. So the pi bond is either there or there. So to summarize, we've got this diagram here. So you can see the original sigma bonds that we started off talking about and then that one pi bond. So we'll finish with shapes and bond angles in alkenes. So we've got this diagram here. This is butene. So the two pink carbons are the carbons of the double bond and the green carbons are sort of the regular single bonded carbons. So we'll deal with the pink ones first. To explain the shape and angle around those carbons, we need to look at the amount of electron regions around the carbon. So around either of these pink carbons, there are three electron regions. So if we look at this one here, one, two, three, and remember double bonds count as one electron region. These are all bonding regions. There's no lone pairs in there, in other words. So the repulsion is equal. So the shape associated with that in the angle is a trigonal planar shape, 120 degree angle. The green carbons, so if we look at this one here, one, two, three, four, so we've got four electron regions around each of these green carbons, same for that one. All bonding regions, so no lone pairs, so we've got equal repulsion, and the shape and angle associated with that combination is tetrahedral, 109.5 degree angle. So in any alkene, you've got a planar, so it's flat around the carbon-carbon double bond, and then you've got the regular um, tetrahedral arrangement around the other carbons that are singly bonded. 